Hello, um, I'm going to divide the room here, I believe. I'm going to talk about Andrew Tate in both a positive way and in a negative way. Instantly. <laughs> People screaming from either side, how dare you, Winston. Um, I think overall, his message is strong. It's, it's, I'm impressed by it and the way that he's handled himself whilst this machine has come after him is admirable. Um, I'm referring, obviously, to what everyone knows what's been going on with Andrew Tate, but then there's this BBC interview, which I would suggest you go to Rotten Politics's channel because he showed the whole thing there. And uh, yeah, give him your views. Don't give the BBC your views. And we're going to come on to the obviously, the, well, I might as well talk about BBC now. Brought it up, haven't I? Uh, Any time that they have the audacity, the nerve, the cheek to sort of claim any virtue over anyone is you just have to throw in their face that they covered up and helped out supported a evil psychotic um, necromat is that the word for somebody that likes having sex with corpses and paedophile and a uh, procurer of young boys and girls for other sick evil paedophiles to rape and abuse and who knows what else possibly even murder yes just remind them of that i've got a few notes here i'm going to stay on so i think we've covered the hypocrisy of the bbc and anyone at this stage that is still funding the bbc by paying your tax your tv tax they call it a license but it's a tax because no one in the history has ever had, well, thank you, Mr. Smith, for your application for a TV licence, but on this occasion, I'm afraid we're, uh, we're having to let you know we won't be awarding your, <laughs> your licence. Okay, it's a tax, all right? It's a tax on watching telly. Get rid of your, do it now, watch the end of this video, go online, go to BBC, say, I no longer want to pay uh, licence fee because I don't watch live television, I don't record live television, I only stream and do catch up whatever whatever it is I can't remember what it is you say and every now and again you'll get some letters through your door that has got some scary language they might have red writing on them and stuff like that and I could direct you to another really good YouTube channel Chili John Carney who um, talks only really on the subject of the BBC and the license fee anyway right that's that so overall Andrew Tate's message I believe is a very strong message it's a good message message he's he's telling young men who have who are the victims of an onslaught of fourth fifth wave whatever feminism which is basically marxism um and he's telling them stop being a victim stop feeling sorry for yourself don't be a cry baby pull yourself up by the bootstraps eat healthy food drink lots of water don't drink very much alcohol be fit be strong lift weights um and and uh, carry about yourself carry yourself in the manner of being strong because believe it or not I believe this is very true the majority of women out there like strong masculine men they don't like soy dripping with soy little wet lettuces uh, male feminists who are just despicable um, I believe the majority of women like strong men and I'm saying this not as the most alpha masculine guy out there but, you know, I, I have, even though, like, say, on a personal note, I hate violence, right, and I always try to avoid being in violent situations. I have, though, put myself in harm's way on countless times to protect women, whether that's the woman I'm with or whether it's just another woman and there's about to be a fight somewhere and you've got to get them out of the way and, you know, risk getting some lumps yourself. So um, be strong in front of women. Okay, that's a very, very positive message. And the way he's handled himself, as I said at the beginning of this long rambling video, I'm extremely impressed with. Now, this is where I piss off the other half of the room. However, Andrew, Ta Andrew Tate is um, a digital pimp, is he not? Does he not run multiple women's only fans accounts, which is digital um, uh, prostitution, isn't it? And cam girls, which is pretty much I believe the same thing now I say this as somebody who I'm I am an absolute hypocrite here because I have consumed porn I probably will consume porn again in the future and I, I, I can say that and still say pornography is bad just um, and I suppose this is probably the same for women as well um, how do you feel uh, after 
the act of sex <laughs> has come to a, a conclusion. After the demons have left you. Right, the difference. Uh, if, you, if you were watching porn when it happened, or if you were making love with another person. The way you feel after that is magnitudes different, okay? When you've, when you've done it the right way, the way God intended, you feel good about yourself. You feel great, okay? The other way, it's like, well, that's done, right? Let's get on with the day. Feel a little bit ashamed. Try to pretend that I'm not ashamed of myself. But you know, deep down, you feel a little bit ashamed of yourself, okay? I'm not saying anything you don't know is true, okay? So that's an extremely negative message as well. So... This is, this is the thing I say over and over again. Probably, if you watch my videos for long enough, you will hear me say it before and you hear me say it again. Don't put anyone on a pedestal, okay? Because once you do that, you're, you're creating a sort of a, a profit for your religion, aren't you? Everyone is fallible. Everyone. Every single person is fallible and will fail. And they'll let you down at some stage. Like, say... I believe the Jordan Peterson message to young men is far more positive. But again, don't put Jordan Peterson on the pedestal. I've criticised him in the past as well. Okay, so um, that's a that's a really bad side of Andrew Tate, and I I wish that he would uh, stop that shit. Okay, if women want to go and have themselves an OnlyFans channel account, whatever, or do do online prostitution in another way, you do you. All right. But it won't do you any good. You're going to hate yourself eventually for it. All right. You know it's wrong. Even though I get the money is good. And any young men out there that are actually giving away your money that you worked your ass off for to digital prostitutes, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. Stop doing it. Okay. They don't love you. Okay. They just want your money. Don't kid yourself. Stupid, 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 stupid thing to do. Um. Right, so, yeah, what was I say? Um, so, back to the BBC. Um, immediately defund them. And then, as the more people that do this, then I guess what will happen is the government will just basically start giving them your tax money from other areas. Of course they will. They'll take it from the tax you pay 100 times a day in many different ways, and they'll just give it to the BBC. But that'll wake more people up again. More people go, oh right, okay, yeah, we actually do have a fascist establishment because Mussolini's definition of fascism when the state, the media and corporate interests come together in some sort of triangle of evil you have fascism. Okay, And we've had it for a long time I think I think it's clear to me um, and let, let more people see it and then we can eventually actually get some change possibly once enough people have woken up Maybe. Am I kidding myself? Maybe a little bit. But I'm still trying to white pill. White pill people. Don't go down the black pill route. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. Um, so that, I suppose that's it with Andrew Tate. Um, a confusing gentleman who I have reservations about. But I can I can appreciate the, the positives of him do outweigh the negatives. But um, and, and I hope that he gets his way and just reflecting on that interview if you haven't seen it or you're going to see it afterwards that was a struggle session the BBC put him through a struggle session that would make Chairman Mao envious okay but it backfired at the end of it he was happy he 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 he, he, he grew out of that and that disgusting despicable contemptible horrible woman there who had no interest in even pretending to be a journalist she looked like somebody, I don't know, I can't think of some incredible way of offending a feminist. To be honest with you, just by existing, you're offending a feminist and, and by not grovelling and apologising to him. So what a despicable woman. I hate the BBC. Andrew Tate, I suppose, overall gets a thumbs up. But, you know, stop with the porn shit. Okay, that's it. See you soon. Bye.